back to this point is what is reasonable effort to correct one's fault don't commit the five precepts uh, don't 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 um, trespass the five precepts the value of five precepts i mentioned three of them the last two is no um no lying all right trustworthiness your word if you want your word weight like a goal then don't spur out crap out of your mouth and speak less that's that's old-fashioned as well but that teaching is always good i always find it useful speak less so that you can speak less error when you speak when you open your mouth make sure it is of value to other person make sure it adds value to the conversation make sure it adds value to their life if it's too heavy you can have a light joke you can have a light social which i still need to learn to lighten up things this is also add value to their life to lighten up their life anything else you say it has to come out out of a kind honest heart uh, and and really want to help the other person uh if a joke it cannot be too much on, at the expense of them yes yeah, some people say ah you're too conservative you know how do you do stand-up comedy and all that the thing is uh, there are different levels like I like spicy you like extra spicy some people can't take it too much you don't know if they are extra spicy or not unless you're really close to them if they can take it still be careful all right I mean it, 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 it's a sign of closer relationship but still you know this is about no lying okay I, I, I diverted too far because no lying can branch out into four I think it's too much for this session um, yeah let's talk about it next time all right no lying can branch into four but the general word of it is just you know everything you say has to wait if you want people to treat your word like go that means hence your word commands a presence uh, not command uh, commands attention uh, commands respect then stop spilling out crap from your mouth that's the only way make sure your word adds value to their life to the team to the conversation depending on circumstance you're in even in relationship adds to the relationship Right? It doesn't have to be all nice going. Even when you scold, you scold with such a rationality. That person is really doing something wrong and they can take the scolding because they simply do not know. Then you scold them out of your real caring part of heart, the loving heart, not the hatred. Just to correct their course, they will get it. All right? So no matter what form your speech is, it has to wait like a goal. And to train that, you need to not lying, number one. Because lying is spilling up empty stuff. That means it has no weight. Everyone's like, this guy is crapping, chirping like a crow. I don't need to listen to this. That's why, you know, this affects everything. First thing, benefiting you. All right? And then other people. All right? Only then you can benefit other people. The last one is no intoxicants. People get drunk and sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, I get really drunk sometimes. And I also... You know, lost consciousness once, but some people when they get drunk, they really got aggressive or animated, which can be interpreted as aggressive if they're not careful. So basically, what I'm trying to say, no intoxicant means you avoid things that lose your mind. It's good to have fun, yeah, but always keep it in control so that you don't step out of the boundary and commit the first four offenses, undoing everything, like. This last piece is only to protect you from committing the actual first actual first four, which is the actual commit offense, or uh, actual how to say, cause of bad karma. All right. I hope it is of value in this session. I think I go really uh, far on that. Um, but um, yeah, yeah, it's a good talk. I think uh, I'll continue next week. I'll repeat again next week, and then following I'll deepen it actually uh, based on Master Ching Kong's speech and expand it to our modern time okay so to wrap up we need to know what is right and wrong we need to understand that if it's something wrong we need to ch change it we need to make an effort why we can't do that that includes myself okay is because we are not putting these consequences or the benefits of correcting it in our in front of our head um, we are, we are how to say, drawn by the short-term incentive, 
short term gratification, short term pleasure, too easily, that we forgot. You know, if we hold back a bit, you know, um, uh, do it in moderation, we can actually get a longer enjoyment out of it. Right. So it goes for good deeds. If we do it earnestly, it may be awkward. May, people may give you command. You may think people looking at you weirdly, and you feel embarrassed. But the more you do it, the more natural you are. The more open your heart is towards helping people. Um, that's not to say you be a floor mat to people, but you know the boundaries and all that. But you also want to help them, you know, while respecting while uh, respecting others' boundary while others respecting your boundary to start with. Okay, we're talking about something we can do every day. Giving out your five dollars, one dollar, two dollar, any passerby who asking for money or sitting there in the cup. Waiting for money, just do it. One dollar, two dollar, if you're comfortable, and then push a little bit. Five dollar, oh, that's a bit too much. Or ten dollar, ooh, 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 twenty dollar. Do it within your means, but also push it a little bit on the upper limit of your means. Years to get out of this reluctance of giving money away because money is important. We all understand that. It took him ten years. What now? Ten years, like, uh. 将这个坚定的或者是这个这个比较勉强给钱的那种那个那个心态拿走 It took him 10 years to give away that reluctance to give money of giving So he's one of the top performers in terms of spiritual cultivation Just like top performer in art, top performer in science right? He's a top, one of the top performer in spiritual cultivation Forefront, looking beyond uh, four or five generations in his thinking his speech will direct a lot of people in future that's something I will, am very confident about it also is a blueprint for me as well uh, because he's, re- he's a visionary and he used it in the Buddhist way according to Buddha's teaching which is even better multiplies so this person even showing us takes 10 years for him to get rid of that reluctance don't feel bad if you feel that but commit to it anyway. It's like, oh, ugh, oh, very weird. One dollar, all right. Two dollar, two dollar. The more you do it, the more natural you are. And then when you do it, you have to be respectful. You have to treat them like your friend, like your brother in distress or sister in distress. You're right. You care. You're fine. Like thinking about your own brother sitting there, your own sister sitting there. Of course, you will give as much as much as you can. All right. Do that, and your heart will open. And naturally, nothing goes unnoticed even though no humans will look looking at it karma will come back all right that's how we should start understanding karma and acting in accordance to the teaching of karma so I'll sum it up here uh, that's my summary all right do good uh, correct the bad deeds understand what is good and bad first and act as you understand it don't need to wait until you become fully understand. That's, you can't fully understand until you act. Do as you go. Of course, sit down in this session and learn about you know this analysis that I'm trying to give based on what I learned. All right. You can take it with a pinch of salt or anything. It's fine. I'm not. I'm not enlightened, but I want to be enlightened. I hope you are enlightened as well. Enlightened means that you get to do things freely without crossing the boundary. That means you're free. You're liberating, you do whatever you want, but everything you do is always good. And no matter you think or not think, the good things will still fall on you. What kind of thing is that, Buddha? What kind of, what kind of person is that, Buddha? That's what Buddhism is about. That is what Confucian is saying, his level. I can do whatever I want, but I will never cross the boundary, no matter what I do. I don't have to think this, think that, like auntie say, I have to watch this. Sometimes I also, you know, ruminate. Ruminate means prapanchara, like drilling, oh, should I this and that and that and this, all this one, all this thought coming out, you know, going beyond what is necessary to be thought on. Um, that means wandering thoughts, wandering away from the point, from having the right, uh, the, the thought that are necessary, the basic needs and all that. We will practice, get better, okay? Don't worry. All right, that's it. I think that's my style. We'll end this here. Um, with 10 times, I'm with four, of course, always thankful to the Buddha. Uh, why people say, why not Shayamuni Buddha? Shayamuni Buddha told us to chant Amitabha Buddha. That's why we chant Amitabha Buddha. 
that's another project I need to have. A proper talk on the let's not say out here. Alright, on the sutra in future. But for now, we stick to basic stuff. Do good, get good. Do bad, you will get bad. Simple. And why good? What is good? What is bad? Why is good? Why is bad? That's the three things we need to know. Do good, get good. Do bad, get bad. Why is, uh, what is good? What is bad? And then why is good? Why is bad? Why is it good? Why is it bad? Right? We don't need to get too philosophical. We can add a little bit flavor up, but we always need to stick to these three basics. All right? All right. Okay, okay, enough, Dylan. <laughs>